Hi guys, Ikat here and my apologies for the delay. I have been a bit absent from YouTube. I have this tendency to go into a rabbit hole, this whole COVID-19 situation and it's not a good sign when I don't post videos. So I'm, I'm forcing myself to go back to making videos. I've also partnered with Nobody Knows for a contest on Instagram. Go to my Instagram right now find the post with the nobody knows cards which is the latest one um, these cards well these are one ways by nobody knows and all you have to do to enter the contest is to follow me on instagram follow nobody knows on instagram and then leave a comment that you've done that that's all you have to do in this video i will be teaching you mockingbird it's a cardistry basics tutorial it's not necessarily a basic move, but at the same time it is within the two-handed cut realm. I think you're going to enjoy this. The first uh, person who I've seen perform this obviously is the creator Darren Yao from The Verts. And it's very difficult to do slowly. There's a few things that I will teach you that prerequisites, and then we'll get into it. So now apologies, I have a little paper cut here. This is completely false cut, so we'll pay attention to the bloody four of diamonds and the bloody ace of spades. All right, over the shoulder, what are the prerequisites here? They are quite a bit. So the first one is to be able to get into a tornado position. So you have from mechanics grip your pinky that's going to take a very small packet, one that you can pivot. So this is what I mean by pivoting. So if you're not comfortable with this, I recommend just start with that. So you have here some skin and you have your pinky and you're using your ring to pivot. So if you cannot do this, that is not a move for you. All right, so go ahead and practice this and you should be fine to move forward. The second one to practice is I'm going to remove about two thirds of the deck. It's going to be um, this. That's how the blood got on the card. <laughs> All right, so like this. So from this position, I need to be able to get into that position very quickly. Practice, you have that little small packet. You're going to tuck your ring finger you're gonna use the other fingers as the clip. So you have your middle and pinky, and they're clipping that packet. So from here, very quickly, you need to be able to get into that position, just like that. Practice with a bit of a bigger packet. The bigger the packet, the harder it is to maintain because it tends to split and fan out. The smaller the packet it is, the easier it is, because less cards fan out. But you get into this position. Then practice perhaps having... Okay, so you have this situation going on. You pick another packet. The other packet you pick with your middle and thumb of your right hand on this vertical corner situation that we got here, like this. That's the prerequisite tornado cut. The tornado cut is when you rotate this packet in the middle with your ring and your ring of the other hand. That's the tornado cut, done very, very slowly. Very difficult for me to do this all slowly. Let's take it from the top. From here, you're going to go into this position. You're going to grab those corners and as you grab those corners, you want to start a rotation. So from here, you're going to start rotating that packet with the middle finger. Well, actually, sorry, the ring finger, the one that's bloody right now. You're going to push down and that card is now face up. And so you want to use the ring finger to turn this card all the way around. So you can see that it's now face down. And as it's face down, you're gonna to wanna to grip this one to have it go out. And that's a mini display that you're getting here. 
And then as you fold down, you're going to unfold. So your index is unfolding. You're just adding that card in here. I lost the grip because it's very hard to do slowly. Your ring is going to do a little full rot rotation backwards. You're here, you're gripping. As soon as you grip it off here, your ring is going to pull downwards so you can get that card to be face up. Now your ring of the right hand is going to go ahead and give this a spin. The ring of this one is helping as well. And at the same time as you're obtaining that spin, um, you're going to extend. I have to do this again because slow motion is not your friend here. Go here and you extend. Bring back. Whoop. And see, I've lost the middle packet. It is a very fragile position. Here. Extend. Fold. Bring this one in. And this one. Let me show you one more time. You have it. Pull down. Extend. See, I've lost, I've lost the middle packet. So I have to do this again. I've taken a smaller packet, so it's helpful, but now I have a very big packet that I need to extend. I bring everything down and everything rotates here around my thumb. And at the end, it's just that pinky and thumb motion. From here, extend, rotate, rotate. I've lost that little grip at the end. You know you're doing this right when you see a full spin. So I grip here, here, and when I extend, I feel like I've spun the cards. Again, that's the only one face down in the middle. I bring things back and I move this card out of the way and see I'm curling my index finger, then the thumb contacts the back and I roll it onto the packet. And then this is face down, I can use my ring finger to completely turn it around. So when you see those complete turns, that's when you know you've done the spinning move correctly. It's just executing these moves simultaneously that sometimes tend to be a bit confusing. Final run through guys, you can do it. First clip. Second one. As you go, your ring finger pushes down. The middle packet stays down and then stays down again like this. From the top, just keeping my four of diamonds and ace of spades as the order is not going to change. Like this, like that. Extend, here I lost the grip, see? It's not gripping anymore. So let's do that again. If your hands are too cold, it's gonna be very difficult. So make sure your hands have some moisture. <laughs> it's very difficult to get moisture in your hands when you're putting rubbing alcohol every five minutes. All right, so you're here. Extend, see I have the grip still. I'm using the ring to control this packet to take it out of the way. As I come back, this rotates fully here. Here, see, I lost the grip a little bit, so I'm just gonna move the card here. And you rotate like this on top. That's it guys, it wraps this tutorial. Thumbs up if you like it. There'll be more tutorials, I think, during this period of time, but I need some encouragement. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you very soon.